So acoustic guitars, most of the time, um, the recording that I'm given or the recording that I have, it's, it's a direct input um, acoustic guitar sound. And there's nothing more unflattering and uninteresting and flat sounding thing than a acoustic guitar that was recorded straight in. Um, and most of the time we, it, it's, for a good reason, we don't have the luxury of placing a microphone in front of the acoustic, ma mainly because we're um, singing live and we're moving around. We don't want to be fixed in place. Or if you're like me, you're not confident about your singing and uh, you know you want the flexibility of uh, tuning your vocals later and you don't want the, the vocals to bleed into your guitar mic. Um, there, there's all sorts of practical reasons for why uh, you might record your guitar uh, direct in and so there's two uh, main ways that I um, treat the situation uh, that have worked pretty well for me in the past um, so number one is to use an emulation plugin uh, or a microphone emulation plugin um, in tandem with some kind of a convolution plugin or something that does both and we'll talk about the specific plugins that I, I use uh, that I really enjoy and number two is to actually overdub your acoustic uh, not to replace your original acoustic recording but um, add another layer of acoustic um, as a complementary layer that will supplement your original ac acoustic recording. We'll talk a little bit more in detail about some things to keep in mind when we do that. For now, let's jump into the computer. We'll talk about uh, specific plugins that I use and what we do to, to make your acoustic guitar sound better. Because your acoustic guitar deserves better. This is from my latest cover of Worthy's Lamb. I'll just solo what my guitar sounds like without any processing. I actually deleted all my processing for this video. So hopefully I don't save this. So a little bit of a picking motion. Um, we'll go to the chorus where I start strumming a little bit more. Okay, so immediately uh, you can hear, it sounds kind of plasticky, uh, and it sounds fake, it sounds very dry, it sounds very close to my ears, um, nothing interesting about that, especially in the context of a mix where uh, in worship music we really want to utilize space well. Um, we want our mixes to sound nice and wide and uh, as, as if the listener is in the room. So placing your elements in the room in the room is uh, very, very important. So first thing, I use a mic emulation uh, plugin called uh, Ocean Way from Universal Audio. It does two things. One, it emulates a uh, microphone, kind of like if you were recording an electric guitar direct in and you basically reamped it through an amp or a lot of a lot of uh, electric players these days we uh, like to use amp simulators it's kind of a similar concept where we take the direct input sound of the acoustic guitar and we're emulating putting a microphone in front of it and uh, it instantly turns it into a more natural sounding uh, recording so we'll check out what it does very magical very magical so here is the oceanway studios plugin um so immediately uh, you'll see three different sets of uh, microphones that you can turn on. There's me right there. Um, that's me holding a guitar in a big studio called Oceanway. What's cool is you can you can kind of um, emulate moving the uh, mic away or close to your source. So let's see what sounds best. My bad, plugin was turned off. It's always good to turn on your plugin before you try and use it. So, all right, so I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, so already uh, sounds very roomy. I'm gonna bring it close. Getting close, nice and intimate. Okay, very cool. And turn it off. 
world of a difference. Seriously, world of a difference. Cool, so I, I like that sound. It's, it's the perfect SM57 pointed at the 12th fret kind of sound. I really like what, what's going on there. So the first one being the SM57 very close up, I like using or turning on a second pair of microphones uh, put placed a little bit far away to capture the room. And that kind of helps uh, place the acoustic guitar inside of a room and it, it kind of helps blend in with the rest of the mix. So let's turn this on. Yeah, it's very nice. Nice and spacey. This might be, um, so something like that might be really good if it's just like an acoustic uh, kind of a song, uh, but I know that later on that the mix gets really dense, so I'm gonna bring that back down. Um, and let's try turning on the third set of mics and place it really, really far back. Yeah, it almost sounds like uh, you're listening to it from all the way in the back of the room. So immediately, uh, my guitar sounds full of life full of life. Uh, let's blend those uh, two sets of microphones that are placed back in the room a little bit down and uh, let's compare what, what it used to sound like. Let's go to a section where I am strumming the guitar. Okay, like I said, world of difference immediately. I, I didn't even EQ or compress or anything like that. Um, just with one plugin, it already sounds just very lively. If you don't have access to universal audio and uh, you want to do something similar, I recommend using a convolution reverb. Um, if you're using Logic Pro, I believe it comes with a free convolution reverb plugin, which basically samples the uh, response of sound within a room uh, when we're emulating what your sound source would sound like in that room. I'm on Ableton, so I'm using the uh, Convolution Reverb Pro, and uh, there's a bunch of these different um, IRs. Uh, super, super cool. I'm using the Wood Room Small at about 30%, and uh, here's without it. I'm going to turn it on now. So very similar, very similar. So the concept is there. Uh, you ultimately just want to place your acoustic guitar within a room uh, to make it sound a little bit more, uh, a little bit livelier and uh, as if you're in the room with them. The second thing uh, that I would do is we can overdub uh, another acoustic layer. What I like to do is I like to do like a, like a nice slow strum uh, each chord. And it, it's kind of more of a texture thing where every time we play a chord, just nice slow strums instead of a clean just one time strum just a nice you know uh I don't, I don't know what you call that there's a musical term for it i forgot but basically like a harp right you just slow strum with a nice i don't know some kind of thin pick that'll articulate that a little bit better um and when i mix that in it's it just provides this nice like stereo uh, texture to your chords. So we'll check out what, what that sounds like a little bit. 
Okay, so uh, let's check out the other guitar, Yamaha right here. So again, nice harpy strums, lots of low end, uh, which I'm sure with the EQ, yep, cut out a lot of that low end. So now I'm gonna turn that on um, and let's see what that sounds like with the uh, Martin together. Without the Yamaha, bring it back in. Super cool, super cool. That already adds so much. Well, there you have it. This is how I process my acoustic guitars. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have anything else you want to uh, learn about or you're curious about my setup or process on how I do these videos, mixing, whatever it is, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, hopefully I'll get to um, talk about some of those topics. It brings me, it brings me so much joy to be able to help other people who want to put out worship music and if it helps someone out there just worship Jesus and brings intimacy in their walks with them, that's a win for me. I hope this has been helpful for you. I'll see you again soon.